it's empty. Oh, it's you, a random YouTube viewer. Hello and welcome. This is M. Or M. -M the Obsessed Movie Man doing a horrible Sean Connery impersonation. Although I don't know why I would be doing a Sean Connery impersonation. Because Sean Connery is not in the movie I'm about to talk about. I am, of course, reviewing Skyfall with Daniel Craig as the new James Bond. I just saw it yesterday, and I would like to... Before I give my opinion of it, I think it should be worth noting that I haven't seen every single James Bond movie, nor have I seen... So that also means I haven't seen every single James Bond actor, so for, don't ask me who, who I think is the best James Bond. But this... This is basically the 50th anniversary of, of James Bond, and I think this was a really good movie. I've heard so, some people have actually, I was in a debate with someone who said that this film was terrible, and I couldn't find anything terrible with it. Like, um, okay, it's basically, what ha um, you don't know James Bond, James Bond is a super spy, all of you should know who James Bond is, who, James Bond is, who works for the... British Secret Service M16 under the under Ju Ju Judy Dench who plays M the leader. Anyway, James Bond the um they think this is not a spoiler because you know he's alive. He gets shot and they think he's dead. And meanwhile, M16 is being under attack by all these cyber threats or cyber terrorist attacks. Like M16 is blown up basically and someone wants M dead. But, of course, James Bond is alive, and, oh, that, yeah, James Bond is alive. <laughs> so, I, th I didn't understand what a lot of my friends were saying. I thought that it was good. It has all the James Bond criteria. I'll count them down. I wrote, wrote them down. Guns, cars, women, exotic locations, drinks, gadgets, villains with distinctive facial features, or a distinctive feature at, in general, and the DVS, Dumb Villain Syndrome, in which a villain has the opportunity to kill the person that they dislike, but they decide to not do it, just to monologue. The DVS. And, uh, wait, um, how many Bond girls are in this film again? Oh. Kind of surprising, but okay. So, Daniel Craig does a fantastic job as ever. So, I actually, right now, I can't, it's unfair for me to say who the best Bond is, but right now I really like Daniel Craig. Maybe it's because this is my generation Bond, or maybe because they, they've made him more gritty and serious. But I think that what makes Skyfall so great is they mix so many of the, I think they mix up a whole bunch of the James Bonds in, and they just make it so it suits everyone. You, you have the realistic side of Bond. But you also have the kind of gadgets sort of bond that you don't really see in these realistic ones. Like you have the car that shoots bullets. You have the the ejector seat, um, radio transmitter, stuff like that. And then you have the classic James Bond theme. It's It kind of fits every cri James Bond criteria. Now, with that said, there were some things that I questioned in this movie. Such as the whole computer hacking. A lot of this is around computer hacking. And I don't know about how it works, but um, I question how the main villain, um, Javier Bardem, how he was able to hack into M's computer, which is a point which happens in the movie. And I'm, I mean, I would think that'd be the highest secured computer probably in the nation, but he could still hack into it. Um, basically, um, Javier Bardem is a former agent and who wants revenge because M decided to let him go, get, let him get killed. And he tried to kill himself with a cyanide pill, but that basically made him all messed up. He lost his teeth, eyes drooping down. Hideous CGI, by the way. <laughs> and he's... An all right villain. Didn't they do this, though, in GoldenEye, where they had a former agent turn into a villain? Just saying, but whatever. The, um, he's a little goofy at some points. Like, at one point, he come like, near the end, he comes in, on, in a helicopter, and he's playing some kind of, I don't know what the song is, he's playing a big, like, some sort of song on the helicopter, like, and Bond's like, 
He knows how to make an entrance. I'm just doing Sean Connery. He knows how to make an entrance. And yeah, I'm just thinking this is something the Joker would have done. <laughs> and in many ways, this he sort of is like the Joker. Um, but props to the other actors. M played by Judy Dench, great as always. Um, makes me kind of think of the continuity of James Bond since she was in some other films with him that did not feature Daniel Craig. But from what I understand, the whole Daniel Craig is a reboot of James Bond, so no need to get confused. Um, and with that said, I can't say that much except from except for the fact that Q is in this movie, which I'm not spoiling because this is in the trailer. And um, I don't know the actor who played him, but great job, nice modern take on it, him being a younger kind of actor who's into all this tech. He even gives Bond the gadgets. It, I I would like that. I miss Q. So, I miss Q. Yeah. The exotic locations were great. Like, they went to... At, at, they went to Hong Kong, I think. And there's, all, all, there's also an island. Another kind of criteria that you have in James Bond film. There's, films. So there's pretty much always an island that the villain is on. Villain is on. And the, he has his famous drink. They don't, he doesn't say shake it not stirred, but he ha gets his drink. He, um, yeah, James Bond gets it on. Yeah. Okay. There another scene that I really liked was the battle that featured the monitor lizards. All CGI, by the way, but I understand you don't want to use real monitor lizards. Uh, that's completely reasonable. <laughs> that was really great. I enjoyed that. And this, do I have any other crit criticisms? Do I have anything else to complain about? No, not really. I didn't see what people, why people. Di I didn't see why a lot of the people that I knew disliked this movie. I thought it was very fun, enjoyable. It granted. It's not a work of art. Uh, it's a great action movie. Surprised it didn't really come out in the summer, but goes with the 50th, 50th anniversary. And I thought it was loads of fun. I'd give it... Hmm, I'd give it about... A s 7 or 8.5 out of 10. I'd actually go with that. It... It's not the best James Bond movie to my, I well actually I can't say that since I haven't seen the other ones, but actually I pretty much liked Casino Royale as my favorite so far. But until then, I'm gonna continue watching all the other James Bond movies, and then I will one day, um, one day I'll say who I think my favorite James Bond is. So, right now I implore you, go go see Skyfall. This is Agent OMM signing out. And wait a minute, this is a Nerf gun.